Hello there, you're watching Danski and this is the place to be to develop your creative skills. Today, we're going to learn how to draw a logo in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump into Illustrator and I've started by creating a new document that's a thousand pixels high and a thousand pixels wide. And we're going to select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And from the bottom of the toolbar, we can select the fill and just select none and then select the stroke and we're going to increase the stroke weight. So we'll go all the way from one up to, let's go for about 80. And we'll set this to a specific color. Uh, let's just double click any color actually. And we'll make sure we select global. Now the reason we select global is so that when you want to change the color later down the road, you can actually just update the swatch and it will update every instance of that color within your document. So a really handy time saver there. So just click OK. So we've got our one circle. Next, we'll go to edit down to copy and then select edit and paste in place. So we've got another copy on top. And just by left clicking from one of the corners, hold down Alt and Shift and it will scale towards the center. Now we want to adjust this so that this space in between the two blue circles is equal to the width of the circles themselves. So let's just go a little bit further there. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. We've got the outer circle. We have this white inner space here, which matches that width. And then we have the inner circle with the same width as well. So we've got our two circles. Now we're going to select the line tool next left click and hold shift to draw a horizontal line. Illustrator very kindly remembers those same stroke settings. And we can just go and position this halfway down. Now you can see all these pink guides popping up all over the place. Those are called smart guides. They're incredibly helpful and you can turn them on by going to view and down to smart guides. And then using the direct selection tool, I can just select this right end of the line and hold shift and drag that out to the edge. Now I'm going to select this line again, this horizontal one, and hold Alt and Shift and drag down. Holding Shift keeps it perfectly in line, holding Alt creates a copy. So that's a really quick and easy way to create copies of shapes. Just hold down Alt, left click and drag somewhere and it will instantly create you a copy. Now this copy here, we're going to change to another color, something that contrasts with the blue. So we've got a nice bright yellow and I'm going to set the weight to half. So we'll take 80 down to 40 and press return. And I'm going to try and line this up with the bottom of this blue shape. As close as I can. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, we will be able to adjust that later on. And again, using that direct selection tool, just bring these in from the edge. Now this is going to create kind of like a letter E. Uh, so once we've got the line in position, we don't need this temporary color anymore. That was just to help us line things up. So we can, from the swatches panel, change that to white. So it matches the background. And this gives us a much better representation of how our logo is going to look. Obviously without that uh, little cut out there. So with the direct selection tool, we can just nudge that in. And then it deliberately goes through this part to create that letter E. And we can do the same with the direct selection tool and the line above. Just left click on that right point and hold shift to keep it perfectly straight. We'll bring it in and there we go. So we can see our logo starting to come together now. Now for the next step, what I like to do is keep an editable copy of what I've created so far, because if I do need to go back or make any changes, I've got that editable version safely tucked away. So we'll just zoom out, drag over everything to select it and hold Alt and Shift and we'll just fling a copy over there and we'll just leave it there in case we need it. Now with the version that we've got left, we're going to expand the strokes. So in outline mode, it currently looks like this. So to get to outline mode, you press Command or Control Y on the keyboard and you can switch between the two different modes. Now you can see that at the moment, this is like a wireframe of what we've created and it doesn't actually represent 
what we're actually seeing. That's because we've got lots of different strokes and things applied. So to make this look correct, before we move on to merging all of the pieces of our logo together, we need to expand the shape. Now think of expand as kind of finalizing, nailing it down so that the path matches the physical form of the shape. So if we drag over everything, remember these are all still editable strokes and go to object expand and leave fill and stroke selected and click OK. You can see that now the actual paths mirror a lot more closely the actual form of our design. Now we've got lots of pieces here that we don't really need and if you're using the shape builder tool you can select everything, select the shape builder tool. Now you'll need a newer version of Illustrator for this and we can just drag through all of the blue hold alt to remove from the shape and just drag through that bit and then we'll give this the same color back and voila we've done that really quickly and easily with the shape builder tool however don't worry if you are using an older version of illustrator and you don't have access to the shape builder tool or you'd like the more challenging way then don't worry because we're going to cover that right now so we've just expanded our shape i've just gone back a few steps and if we drag over everything, we can see that we've got all of these different pieces still. And if we drag over everything and go to the Pathfinder panel on the right, if you don't see that, go to Window, down to Pathfinder. And we're going to select this option here, Merge. It's the third one in from the bottom. And what this will do is if I show you what happens there, it takes all of these individual shapes and merges them together into one complete shape. So it's joined up these paths now. And with the direct selection tool, we can go in and individually select the anchor points here. They've gone, I've got this stray shape left over. So we'll just remove any stray anchor points. And we can zoom in really close just to check there's nothing else out of line. And you can see here, we've got a tiny little kink that was where we didn't line our line up perfectly at the beginning. You can use the direct selection tool and hold shift to multiple select different anchor points. Zoom in really close. We're zooming in like 45,000% here and we can just bring those up so they line up. There we go, we'll do one. And we'll just bring that other one up as well. So when you zoom back out, if you've zoomed in like 45,000% and corrected any little mistakes like that, then when you zoom back out, it's gonna look absolutely immaculate. So in outline mode, remember that's Command or Control Y, we can see that we have the final shape here and we can now move this around because we merged it all together. And there we go. That's how to draw a logo in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.